Shalom guys, peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger, we're back on the video. This one's gonna be about 10 steps on how to break generational curses. The video I'm gonna do tomorrow is gonna be about seven signs you have generational curses, but this one's gonna be 10 steps on how to break it. Let's go, let's go. And before I even start this video, you gotta understand that generational curses, guys, goes all the way back to Adam and Eve, okay? They, they're the ones who first sinned, which allowed curses to be on this earth because before they sinned, there was no such thing as uh, sicknesses, death, curses, none of that. It was just nothing but blessings, okay? So uh, our, our forefathers, even that talks about this in the Bible, this is in Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 to 6, says, Thou shalt not make thee a grave, uh, any graven image or any likeness of, of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. So check this out, verse 5. It says, Thou shalt not bow down to thyself, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, am God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of thy fathers upon the children unto the third and the fourth generation of them that hate me. So it says, visiting the iniquity, the sin of the fathers upon the children into the third and fourth generation. So that verse lets us know that generational curses is biblical and it's real. So I came up with 10 steps on how to break them. Like I said, guys, like I always say in my videos, when it comes to breaking generational curses, that you're not going to just break them the next day. Okay, this is this is a, it could take 10 years, 20 years. This is an ongoing battle. Like I said, it all goes back to Adam and Eve. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Number one. You must acknowledge, guys. You must acknowledge you have curses to break. A lot of us times before before I even knew I had generational curses. I didn't. I knew I was going through stuff, but I didn't know that this was a curse from my forefathers. This is a, you know. Let's say if you have like um, like you have a smoking addiction, right? Or you got like um, porn addiction. Whatever you know, whatever addiction it has, guys, it could be stemmed from your grandfather or your father, your mother, your great 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 grandpa. It could be you know stemmed from there. So we have to acknowledge, oh, okay, and, and look, uh, look, not, don't look at, I'm not, because I know that the commandments says to honor your father and mother. So I'm not saying to condemn them or look down on them, but look at what they were doing when you were younger. That's why, guys, it's important, okay, uh, if you have children, to be an example, because especially if you're like a single mom, right, you don't want to have dudes coming in here out of your house, and, 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 you know, new, you get a new, new guy every six months because your daughter's going to see that and she's going to be like, okay, well, my mom was you know playing the harlot so and I, now your daughter's gonna do that so we must be an example and we must understand that the things that we're doing okay and if you see your, your children sees you doing that that, that curse get passed on them so we'll always understand that we must acknowledge acknowledge you have curses to break and that's why i have number one now this is not an order but i had to put this uh you have to acknowledge it but we gotta have the blood of jesus guys the uh, bible says in one john chapter one verse seven it says that um Oh, this is the wrong, this is the wrong one. Hold up. Okay, so it says that, but if we walk in the light as he is, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son cleanses from all sin. So we must have Jesus Christ, the blood of Christ in us to purge us from all iniquity, to purge us from all sin. Okay, so that's, that's, this is key, guys. Okay, and, and what I did right here, I highlighted it, put it in the work because that's what it all is. Faith without works is dead. All this I'm gonna go over, guys, it's a work. Okay, I know a lot of people just say grace, grace, grace. And yes, we're saved under grace, but if you want to, you know, break down demonic strongholds, if you want to break down these curses, uh just destroy those demons in your life, okay? You gotta put in the work. And your work is and how you put in your works by your faith, your faith in God. And your faith in Jesus. Okay, so always understand that you need the blood of Jesus, guys, to cleanse us from all iniquity, to cleanse us from all sin. Okay, number the next one will be prayer and fasting. Okay, in Matthew chapter seventeen, verse twenty-one talks about how uh, this comes not out but by prayer and fasting. So certain de demons, certain demonic spirits, um, certain strongholds in your life. Okay, understand that some of it cannot only come out. Sorry, can only come out but by prayer and fasting. This is a work. Okay. Um, Fasting, for those who don't know, I have multiple videos on this. You can just type in fasting, Mark the Messenger. It'll pop up on YouTube. But pretty much, it's you can go 24 hours. Now, if you look at the um, Old Testament, the kings in the Bible, they fasted for three days, four days, five days. Now, if you, now I understand some people take medicine and you know some health issues, so it's different for everybody. But I would recommend at least 24 hours to fast. And what a fast is, is pretty much consuming no food. You're only just drinking water. You're not drinking like diet soda diet coke or you know diet gatorade zero whatever you know you, it's just water no gum literally just water you're, you're denying your flesh and you're feeding up your spirit so that's also good okay you're building your spirit up next one up would be forgiveness guys forgiveness is key okay i had someone i'm not gonna say their name tell me that when they were a child they were rap you know they got 
I don't want to say that word on YouTube because yeah, you know, you guys, hopefully you guys know what I'm trying to say, but they had that when they were a child and you know, fast forward 20 years later, they're still harvesting that negative energy. Okay. So you got, and, and the reason why, and I asked that person, you know, did you forgive them? She, that person said no. Okay. So when you, when, you have to be willing to forgive guys so you can let go. Sometimes forgiveness is not for that person. I understand that some people did us evil, man. They did us wrong. But sometimes, guys, when you forgive, it's for your own sake, okay? So to break free from that curse, you got to have forgiveness, even though they even though they don't deserve to be forgiven, okay? I mean, that's just sick, man. This even the thought of that makes me, it's, makes me mad. But sometimes, guys, even the things that we can't control, even the people who don't deserve to be forgiven, okay? You know, but at the same time, you got to understand, we are all sinners. So we must forgive so God can forgive us too. But like I said, you want to forgive so you can let go of that curse. You can let go of that burden. You can't change what happened 20 years ago. You can't change what happened 10 years ago. All you could do is just forgive and keep it moving. Keep leveling up, okay? Next one will be read the Bible, know your word, okay? Study to show yourself approved so you can know faith without works is dead. So you can know about the uh, the way, the truth, and life through Jesus, okay? The blood of Jesus. So you can know by prayer and fasting. So you can know that forgive so you can be forgiven, okay? So you can know about all this stuff I'm going to go over. So no, reading your Bible, understand the word, okay? Next up will be uh confession and repentance was uh, aligns with number one okay confession is you know like i said acknowledge that you have some uh curses to break and confess that whatever sin and when, when you're when you're saying your prayer right whatever th whatever um sin that your your forefathers committed you got to pray and ask god to confess and you know even got to sometimes you have to repent not just for your own sin but your full father's sins okay and also repentance okay whatever sin that's keeping you in bondage that's keeping those curses from you know continue working your life you, whatever that may be Whatever disobedience, whatever the case may be, right, is repent, guys. Repent. And what does it mean to repent? It's, it means to change our ways, to not, not to not to repent with that without the intention to sin again. Okay. So repent. Always understand that, guys. This is key. I mean, like I said, all of this is key, but I feel like this is let me highlight it so people could see. All right, repentance is key, guys. You gotta repent. Also, confession too. Acknowledging it and confession. Confessing, okay? Also, I put choose life and blessings. Okay, so it talks about this in Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15 to 19. So it says, See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. Okay, so it says that, uh, verse 19, I call heaven and earth, this is the most high speaking, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that, thou, that both thou and thy seed may live. Okay, so choose life and choose blessings. How do you guys do that, guys? By keeping God's Ten Commandments. It talks about this in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Okay, it's a long chapter. I think that chapter has like 68 verses, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. But it pretty much talks about blessings and curses. Okay, the blessings is from verse 1 to 15, and the curses talks about from 15 to verse 30, uh, it says verse 68. Okay, so you got to choose obedience or disobedience. Okay, and how can we be obedient according to that to, according to that chapter? Okay, is to keep God's uh, commandments, the Ten Commandments of God. Okay. And of course, having the faith in Jesus, okay, that cleans us from all sin. Okay, so always understand that you, it's a choice. It's free will. Okay, God doesn't force anybody to to choose life. It's your choice. Okay, it's it's all free will. Always understand that. So, choose who you may serve. All right. Next up will be cut demonic influence and break soul ties. Now I have a long live stream, like like forty minutes long uh, live stream on break how to break soul ties. I'll leave it at the end screen hopefully, uh, or you can just type mark the messenger uh, soul ties, and understand that. Some of these soul ties, guys, we gotta we gotta denounce and break. Like I said, it's like over forty minutes long, so I'm not gonna talk about it long in this video. Uh, but you know, cut demonic influence. You guys know what the demonic influence is, guys. We gotta be wise, man. We gotta be wise. We gotta stop. We gotta we gotta be tired of becoming a fool. I remember, guys, last year I told God I'm tired of being a fool. I eventually, you know, 28 years old. Eventually, you just gotta get tired of it. You gotta tired of knowing knowing to do good but do to do wrong. Knowing who to cut off but still keeping them around. You gotta be tired of become. You gotta be tired of it, bro. I'm telling you, man. If you're not tired of becoming a fool, these curses will never be broken, guys. You gotta be wise. You gotta be wise, man. Okay, uh, be wise, not in thy own eyes. Depart from evil and to fear God. Okay, so you gotta cut all demonic influences. If you if you're so holding on to certain people, guys, certain sins, you're just opening the door, opening the door for demons, opening the door for you know, like I said. Now you could choose life and blessings. I should have put also you could choose death and curses. Okay, even the Bible says that. You know, verse nineteen it says uh, be a life and a life and death, or blessing and curses. Okay, or cursing. Sorry. So always understand it's a choice. 
Okay? It's a choice. And like I said, with those blessings, those that life is by putting in that work through your faith. Okay? Because the Bible says that faith without works is dead. As a body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Okay? So all this, again, breaking these demonic, uh, breaking not just the curses, guys, demonic strongholds, a demonic spirits. It all correlates to putting in the work. A lot of people are lazy. A lot of people are slothful. You know, they ain't trying to work. You know, they're trying to be, you know, just sitting on their couch all day, not knowing there's a spiritual battle. There's a spiritual war going on out here. Okay, a lot of people are just being lazy, throwing in the towel. They quit. Okay. And also, guys, that could be a form of witchcraft. And that's for another video. Yeah, that's that's for another video. Okay, but next one up is binding and loosing. Okay, binding and loosing. And there was another one. Um, oh, let me read this. Let me, let me, oh, no, no, yeah, this one here. Renouncing the curse and the sin. Okay, acknowledging it, confessing, which correlates to, you know, confession. So, re renouncing the curse and the sin. And I want to read a uh, verse with you guys, okay? So, this is in uh, James chapter 5, verse 16. Okay, this talks about, uh, confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual prayer of the righteous man availeth much. So, confess with your faults with other people, okay, with other believers in Christ. Uh, sisters and brothers you can't confess your faults to everybody because they're all there are devils there are demons they're going to use it against you they're going to cast their stone whenever they want uh whatever uh god's about to level you up and these devils are, start to reel themselves like to you guys these people are going to use whatever you, you confess to them against you that's just the world we live in okay so don't be don't confess your faults just to everybody only to the your brothers and sisters in christ those who are on that narrow path okay because like i said these devils those people on the other path they're going to use it against you all right and i also talked about this in romans chapter 5 verse 18 it says, um, okay, therefore, as by the offenses of judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men into justification of life. Okay. Remember, the Bible says that righteousness leads to life. So unrighteousness leads to death. So like I said, this all correlates to cho choosing, choosing who you may serve, guys. You know, choosing who you may serve. And, you know, that, that's it for this video, guys. Ten steps on how to break generational curses. Acknowledge your curses you have to break. The blood of Jesus. Okay, also, wait, before I even talk about all that, put it in the work. And then see how I know that all correlates to that, guys? So, blood of Jesus, prayer and fasting, choosing life and blessings to keeping God's Ten Commandments. Okay, uh, forgiveness, cutting demonic influence and break, breaking soul ties, confession and repentance. Okay, renouncing the curse and the sin, binding and loosing. And read, read the Bible. Know your word. I love you guys so much. If you have already, make sure you smash the like button. Share this video on all social media platforms. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I love you guys so much. I am out. Oh, yeah. If you guys want to check out the, um, the Soul Ties video, I'll leave it right here. So go click on it. Love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.